So, I found out some more information about what I'm going through with lymphoma cancer. Uh, I have to go through five different types of treatments. Uh, four, which is uh, with the pill, and then one is with the IV, with the antibiotics. So, one was once chemo and four with the pills. And I gotta do that once a week with the chemo, and then the rest of the week take the antibiotics. And they're gonna be doing that for about five weeks for the treatment. I decided today to, uh, for the first time in seven days, to walk out of the hospital and go for a walk. But the thing with lymphoma, uh, because when you start to pump your blood and move around, it starts to target that area that hurts the most, which is my armpit. And it literally feels like it's on fire. Uh, and then not only feels like it's on fire, it feels like someone's punching it at the same time. So basically I can't walk around that much right now until I get my uh, chemo and antibiotics going on. So my plan with the channel is I'm going to be doing Monday to Fridays of uh, what I'm going through as a daily life with uh, lymphoma cancer. And then Saturdays. Uh, I'll be doing uh, what to see in Vancouver, kind of like going to Stanley Park or uh, you name it, a site attraction or Coal Harbor or Waterfronts or uh, the seawall, many things you could do in Vancouver and see, uh, which I'll be doing on Saturdays. And then Sundays, I have two rabbits named Scarlett and Harley and I'll be shooting a creative video about my two rabbits, uh, which will be interesting, like comic comic book stuff. Though unfortunately right now, I only have my cell phone to use, so I don't have that much editing power, uh, but I'll try the best that I can. And I'll do uh, more of the editing and the, the video uh, better videos when I have a uh, high resolution video camera and a good laptop to do the editing but until then it's my phone for the next uh, I don't know couple weeks to a month I guess so it feels great to finally get out of the hospital because it's constantly like bad news uh, you're constantly sitting on the bed lying in the bed you can't get comfortable because they're always in there and I don't have a window view so my view is the ceiling and uh, the curtains around me so uh, I had to get out and get some air and the doctors recommend when you have cancer the best thing to do is move around eat healthy and uh, uh, try to you know, take painkillers so you don't deal with pain that much your body can relax in order to recover quicker apparently when you're sick and I also found out that uh, in the next few days, which is Friday, that's when I'm going to start my treatments. So I got all the information, what it does, uh, found out that it's not spreading yet from what they know so far. And I'm going to continue doing more uh, uh, testing to see if it's in different parts of the body, but so far it isn't and they're gonna start doing a few other tests to see where my body's at if i could accept the chemo treatments and it should be interesting I've never been through this i got a severe phobia of needles which i always did with my life so even when they did all the testing a couple of days ago they had to put me under uh, i guess i'm uh, chicken crap but don't like to feel it don't like to feel a thick needle going through my skin just to do testing and and then stick tubes in my body so I could give them a pick line and stuff like that. So, uh, what else? Yeah, that's basically everything. So I'm going. I, I'm getting more tests. I'm going to be starting my treatments in two days on Friday, and I'm going to be uh, trying to stay motivated by shooting videos every day. And hopefully what I go through, others could take from what I went through. And maybe 
either relate to it or uh, help you in a way to get set if something like this happens to you. Because if it could happen to me, it could happen to anybody. And yeah, just think positive, smell the fresh air, get out as much as you can. And thankfully it's summer, so I could enjoy the sun and the beautiful park and surroundings. And surprisingly, this is the park where when I was first adopted with my parents. That's the first preschool I went. And you probably can't see it, but over there is the first building when I was adopted living with my parents when they were managers of the building. Uh, which is in Thurlow in downtown, smack on the mat of downtown. And these were my first memories, my memories of learning how to ride a park over those little hills over there like that hill that hill right there and my first school which was over there and my first memories as a kid was in that building over there so it's kind of like um, what do you call it it's kind of like um, a mindset where I'm at ease when I come here I can sit down and think and prepare myself what I'm about to go through in a few days because I'm not sure how I'm going to react to the um, um, the antibiotics, the the chemo treatments, and uh, you know I have the encouragement to go through this because this is the last thing I want to be doing at 40 years old. 40 years old, I want you know I thought I could be traveling or I thought I could be I don't know going skydiving or try to have a family, kids, whatever, something, right? But nope. My cards right now is to take care of myself and so be it. I guess I'm babbling on a little, a little more than usual today and I'm not walking, but like I said, every time I walk, it feels like I got fire in my armpit while someone's like punching out at the same time and it's not a good feeling it hurts a lot and i'm i get a pretty high tolerance of pain and <laughs> when it hits the nerves that's that's when you gotta tap out because it just doesn't feel good at all so yeah i'm just sitting here enjoying the sunset but i'm about to go back in the hospital and uh get ready for the night again and prepare myself for two days from now. Uh, obviously, if anyone has any questions about my creative content or how I shoot my videos, or if you could hear me properly, just let me know. And uh, I'll try to do my best to cater to how everyone wants me to shoot my videos. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. And when I get more information tomorrow, I'll let you know what's going on. And I'm going to probably walk around and show you the building in the hospital that I'm in right now. Because this hospital that I'm in, it's over 100 years old. And it was, I think, the first hospital in Vancouver to take care of unknown illnesses and people getting treated that were left behind that no one else wanted to treat. And yeah, this, this hospital has a lot of meaning because in about 10 years from now, or maybe a little more, they're gonna be taking it down to build new condos. So after saving many, many people's lives, they're gonna take it down just to build more condos and build a new hospital away from downtown, which, I don't like that idea because now you have to go over two different bridges to get to either Vancouver General Hospital or the new hospital on the other side of the bridge of downtown. What if you're a senior? What if you're having a heart attack in, um, on the south part of downtown? Now you have to race up against traffic up a hill, cross through the whole city, and then get out of downtown with the, from the bridge. That's going to take an additional 10 minutes or so, maybe longer, depends on the traffic. 
So I don't like that idea either. They should keep St. Paul's where it is, just build a new hospital, take it down here and build a new one over here, which I think that's what they should be doing, but they won't. Just cater to the rich and the people that come from around the world and screw the locals, apparently. And that's Vancouver for you. Getting richer uh, for the for people that are not from Vancouver and the locals have to move up so but yeah I'll get back to you tomorrow about what's going on with my daily life with living with um, uh, with my cancer and I'll improve every video video by video so try to bear with me as I'm trying to create new content creative content and make it more um, more entertaining but right now it's just getting over the the idea of me what I'm going through uh, with only using a cell phone and trying to keep a level mind set at the moment just to go through what I'm going through which it ain't easy and as things start to progress the way it's supposed to uh, you got my word